Okay, so I'm making this video for Rachel because she wants to see how I do or how did my makeup for Marigold Tulsi, um, my nurse vanguard character. Um, I use the Naked Basics palette mostly for the, um, uh, the matte brown and some kind of matte colors that kind of match my skin tone. I also have here a concealer. This is a sample from Sephora, but a concealer that matches my skin tone. I've also got some Fenty stuff. This is a dark like contour color. And I also have a light kind of color. So Mary's look is pretty much like super exhausted, insomnia, uh, super tired. And I wanted to make sure her makeup does most of the work because acting tired, I felt could actually just make you kind of feel tired. So number one, uh, do anything you normally do right now. What I have is just my eyebrows filled in and we're going to start. I'm going to use this. Um, like blendy brush and I'm going to go into this color here the brown I'm gonna load it up a bit I mean not obscure the camera I'm gonna load it up a bit and first things first is I make my eyes look really sunken sunken in so I'm just gonna do that real quick I'm just gonna, I'm gonna oh god I'm not a YouTube beauty guru person into the crease um man into the crease it looks a lot better in real life than on the camera but you know this is what life is about and we do our best oh god oh am i pretty yet oh no we're gonna be tired we're gonna be very tired all right so kind of just make oh i can use the phone camera hey all right we're gonna really there we go yeah, and that was just a mistake up there. Okay. Awesome. And then we're gonna take a black, and I know it's like, oh, this is a smoky eye. Not yet, actually, but we're gonna take this black color and we're gonna put it also in the crease and we're gonna really blend it out. Super duper blend it out. What we're looking for is like a, I just got punched in the face by my bad dreams kind of look. That's what we're going for. Or um, I'm a dirty little raccoon. Um, I'm doing it really severe, uh, just so it'll show up on camera. There you go. Hey. Um, so it's not, this is not, man. Hopefully it shows up pretty good on camera. Okay. So once we have it all sunken in, Damn, that's actually a smoky eye look. We're not going for pretty. We're going for like tired. Once you got that pretty much filled in there, what we're gonna do is like look at, sometimes you can look at it or feel, kind of feel where your bone, like the actual orbit, sinks in. And your eyes, <laughs> your eyes start because that's where you wanna look really sunken. So I naturally, and this is I guess the blessing for this makeup, I naturally have dark circles, always since I was a kid and it's kind of genetic. So I can kind of just see where it goes and emphasize that. So number one thing I do is I'll take very, very lightly the black color. Ooh, okay. What I'll do, I'm going to draw like a line. Like I'm going to get here and just draw like a line down. I'm not going to make the circle because that doesn't look natural. I'm just going to darken up a line here. So let me just try to do that while in, in the camera but like not, damn it. I'm trying my best here. Okay, we're gonna do this. All right, you see that? It's just down. Bam, look at that, super tired. All right, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna dip into that block again. Boop, boop. And you're doing the other one. Oh, it's really severe. Okay, it's okay. It's called blending. It's called blending. All right, all right, all right. So here, 
now that I have, and so, ooh, so this is supposed to be the darkest part anyway, so that's why we use the black. And now we're gonna take the brown. All right, I take the brown color. It's matte brown, so it doesn't have to be naked palette, it could be whatever, as long as it's a brown that's darker than your skin tone. And we're kind of like gonna go from this line here and kind of fill it in and like go all over the place. And I'm using a blendy brush because like, you know, a crease blender. Hey, oh wait, oh, I have to do the YouTube person thing. Hey, focus on the, on the brush. I'm using a blendy brush. It's focusing on my eyebrows instead. Hey, um, I'm using a blendy brush because it helps, you know, blend out a lot better. So, that's what we're gonna take a brown and we're gonna, we're gonna blend it out. All right, here we go. I'm gonna look at the camera. I'm gonna look at my mirror a bit, so I'm gonna look less at the camera. I'm sorry if that not helpful, but if you're following me, blend it out. All right, here we go. Blend the shit out. Oh. <gasps> also, make sure that it doesn't go over that initial line you did. <laughs> Like, don't blend it down all the way because it looks like you're just crying or something. Like, actually, make sure that that first line that we made um, is kind of a, 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 a strict line. Like, uh, keep the integrity of that line um, because that'll give the illusion that it's, it, that is the point at which your eyes are sinking in, right? It's not like your face is dirty. It's that you actually have sunken in eyes. Okay. We're going to do that. Oh. It is completely in my pores. This is what we do for, for LARPing. All right. All right. So I have to put on my glasses for a little bit. I need to see. I am blind without them. Okay. Hey. Do I look tired yet? Well, this one needs a little bit more blending. So you see, I'm not like making a circle because that would look just really, really bad. Just down. And then... Kind of have it all blend out. Oh. And yes, you should have um, this here at meet with the smudgy things you were doing earlier. Now, I look a lot more awake and better because I do have eyeliner from, from earlier today. I did put on eyeliner for work. Um, if you were doing this, I would suggest don't do the eyeliner. Like, don't do anything that makes your eyes look awake or alive or gorgeous all right i'm gonna do the same thing with this side here you go it's already an eight minute video wow okay also don't put on mascara with this nothing to make your eyes look nice so that's not looking as tired as usual okay another thing i like to do it just makes me look tired um but not like really aged, is I'll kind of contour up here. See, if you like kind of emphasize any like any other sunken in parts of your face, you want to look tired, not like a anorexic or older. I didn't want to look older, so I didn't want to emphasize any of the lines or creases in my face, just the eyes. But if you take color from, take color on your, on your brush, from this part of your eyebrow and just kind of bring it down. It kind of helps with the sunken in look. Like, like so. See, super tired. Mm. Um, now, this look is pretty much done. I didn't do such a great job because I was blind and I'm doing it in a camera and it's for some reason I'm incredibly nervous. Um, but the next step, and I think that's the most important step, is put this brush down. We're gonna take some, see I'm so blind, I don't know where I put my, my concealer. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Hmm. I'll use the Fenty one. Um, this contour color, this could also have been like a cream base before you put on the shadow. 
but I find that just using shadow is a bit more natural. But if you use the cream base and then the shadow on top of it, it'll last a lot longer. Um, so here's the concealer, right? So what you do is, man, I wish I had, let me put my glasses on. Maybe, I, oh, there it was, right in front of me. I'm not gonna use a Fenty. I'm gonna use this little tub here. So you take a little bit of your concealer, and what I do is I'll just kind of dab and I'll warm it up on my hand. Can you, there it is, like, can you see that? And just kind of load up my finger with, with a good amount. And it's, as you can see, it's slightly lighter, um, which worked fine if I had a concealer that actually matched my skin color better, that would work better. So the next step is the lips. So what you do is you just squint your lips like this, make a kissy face, and you're gonna dab the concealer on that. And don't press too hard. So kissy face. I'm kidding, I just kissed you. All right. All right. And we kind of blend the edges, because that's the only places you really miss. Blend the edges. And then, with a thicker brush, hello, you, I'm going to go back into the palette. I'm going to use this yellowy color, because it kind of matches my skin tone. This is when I learned I had yellow undertones. And you're going to squint your face again. And just, like, seal it, I guess. And so, with that, is the completed look. Super tired, kind of natural, hopefully, and the super chapped lips. Or, if you didn't want to do chapped, you can just swipe some concealer over your lips. What you're doing is you're taking away color from your face, and your lips and your cheeks are like the number one places where you'll get color. So for me, I'll just don't put on blush. Um, I don't really wear foundation. If you're someone who has natural red on your face, um, maybe consider wearing just a pale foundation and putting that foundation over your lips and just taking all the color from your face. So this look here does wonders. This is how I do my makeup for Marigold Tulsi. <clears throat> all right.